more enemies. A true hunter never rests.
Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. <laughs> Minions have spawned.
warning. It's a trap.
Blue Team's turret has been destroyed. has been destroyed.
Will we be seeing new bands in a swap up on the uh, next game, though? Not sure. Not sure at all. Will Brighton uh, decide to hate ban a few of the characters, such as Vi? Most likely. Let's be honest. Uh, a lot of games that you see in ECAC or like a lot of uh, League games you see, they are definitely going to be banning or hate banning. After the first game. Especially in ECAC games. That I've noticed. It happened last week. 
and the week before. It happens in a lot of games. So it's definitely, you don't want to, you go up against it once and you're like, I don't want to go up against that again. Absolutely. I've told, uh, I've told you the Mordekaiser story multiple times. Yes. Uh, you I do not like that character. Yes, you, you ban Mord every single time. There is, there is no way. You, you have absolutely no chance to be seeing me play against a Mordekaiser. There's, there's absolutely no chance. There's no world that we live in, or alternate reality that we could live in, where I would fight a Mordekaiser in League of Legends. I don't necessarily blame you. Mord is annoying. Yeah, you, uh, you die once to him and he instantly becomes a raid boss, and there's nothing you can do against it. You're, you, you're better off surrendering at the start of the game if you see you're going against a Mordekaiser. I have seen a lot of people have actually uh, been trying, and I've seen a few successful of getting out of his ult. Ring, but we were able to see. Yeah, you're correct. It looks like because the losing opponent, or because uh, Brighton has lost, it looks like they are going to be choosing to lose that. So, SDSU is going to be up right on the red side. Maybe they think that the blue is the lucky side. I don't know. Yes, I know. I, I'm always punched over trying to look at the laptop screen. He's like a big old... Yeah. I want to invest in a bigger lot. That'd be. It would be. It's my, you know, my paper, the sheet of paper I have in front of me. Yeah, the, uh, the, the Android tablet right now. The iPhone screen that we're looking at. It's not quite uh, that small, but I swear <laughs> it might as well be. It might as well be. It might as well be. Not too far off there. Particularly, it is a Microsoft Surface Pro, and it is very thin, but it also doesn't really have like uh, it doesn't particularly have like fans or anything. You keep it cool. Oh, so it's a computer with no computer. No, buddy. I we have my laptop. It's just mine. You know, mine is small. You know, my my tiny sheet of paper that I carry around. The pink sheet of paper. No, it's fine. I think we'll be okay. We will be okay, but my back sure won't be. <laughs> oh. Any <Getting> nuts. <laughs> what do you need a bottle cap? You just, you just sit on the desk and like, hit it the wrong way, and then the bottle, you, you realize why you need a bottle cap? Yes, basically. So I'm gonna keep that out of there. But um, yeah, uh, that was a very interesting game. Let's be honest. I don't know. With the team comps, I was kind of thinking Brighton would win, but uh, I uh, wasn't too sure about that Malkai. I think that was the main downfall of it all. Yeah, Malkai. That's what I was looking at at the beginning of the game, and I never actually I, I got could not, to it. I could not notice. Much of like a, uh, I'm not gonna say like a, a downfall from Malkai, but I, di I didn't realize them doing as well as Malkai would perform. They they perform top lane. Malkai was tearing it up in the jungle as well, um, but now he's because like I said earlier, he's dropped. His ultimate is really good for team fights, though. I was seeing that be utilized quite a bit. Where do you go to my favorite website? Not my favorite website, but it is a good website. Yuna GG. In the jungle, he's 35 out of 46 for ranking. He has a 48.95% win rate in the jungle. As of, you know, the new, like, the new uh, patch. In support, he's not, he's not much better in support. He's 32 out of 37. For ranking. That's... And he has a 48.49% win rate. That's, that's the usual win, win rate for uh, most characters, though. It's typically around the 50% margin. 
top. He is 27 of 41. With a 49.13. I was nowhere near uh, right when I said he would be better performing top then. See, no, this catch, uh, this catch was definitely supposed to nerf uh, quite a bit of the problems, more so in the jungle. Just, you know, you have like Udyr and Amumu. And unfortunately, before the patch of Maokai, they were all running it up through the jungle. They were tearing things up, and you got punished for trying to play the game. Um, well, usually that's just how League goes anyway. It's no? fair. But it's also, you know, like, if you're a character like uh, Belva, right. and you're going up against a Maokai or something, and the Maokai is punishing you, and you can't do your stacks properly. <laughs> um... Right. There, there's a problem. It definitely depends on what, like, uh, Tim can make you play your game or not. <laughs> You're triggering my OCD. Dang it, Matt, you, you screwed it up. Does Matt have enough blue essence to do it? We might be seeing a quick name change right now. <laughs> Everyone is staring at Matt for his name. Uh, both letters both letters are not capitalized. One of them is, the other is not. <laughs> Everyone's staring at him, including his own teammates. Re report him. <laughs> We're going to see a band player. We may not have an ADC on uh, SPSU anymore. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Dang it, Matt. Doomed us all. After that little uh, heartwarming moment of both teams ripping on that. It's really a beautiful thing to see both teams uh, come together over such a it's such a great thing, such a such a, such a beautiful uh, beautiful thing to do. Yeah. He or she is getting IP banned mid game. Oh no, Matt. It looks like we won't be seeing you the rest of the semester. It's beautiful to see people work towards a common goal. You don't see that much nowadays. Especially when they're enemy teams. It's we love a, it. Quite a wholesome thing. We love to see it. This is such a wholesome chat. I feel like it shouldn't be this wholesome. It's a league. It shouldn't be. <laughs> You, you, you say wholesome well, is they're just ripping into someone right now. <laughs> they, they stopped ripping into them. We, we, said wholesome just... with a, we said wholesome with a grain of salt there. It, it's more wholesome than normal league chat. Oh, yeah. Uh, so uh, when I when I stopped playing this game, uh, I, I stopped since uh, I went into three games. And in those three games, uh, back to back to back, I was told to delete the game and never play it again so uh you know what i took that to heart i took that advice and i'm i'm a much better person from it like when i was playing league i didn't get up in the morning i was i didn't eat food i was got it's just a mess it's, uh the sad the sad sack of sadness are you but, uh, telling that you were the video game stereotype that yeah yeah i was and now that i've stopped playing league none of that has changed but at least i'm not playing league of legends You're not suffering through this god <laughs> game. <laughs> Nothing has changed, but I'm not suffering through this game. That is what matters. <laughs> you are exactly like me, my friend. I'm just suffering on standby. <laughs> I don't play the game. I just suffer while watching the game. 
and knowing as much as I do about the game. The, the game's a lot more fun to watch than it is to play, I will say that. Because uh, you'll, th you'll think, wow, this game looks, this game's really cool. These, these and then people, you get into it. These people doing these really cool things, they're, they're really doing all this, all this tech and then uh, all these cool plays. And then you play it, you immediately become the person that's being clipped and then uh, you can't do anything. You, you wish the game would end, but then you realize you're playing League of Legends and you still have two hours in the match, and then uh, there goes the rest of your two hours. We can just sit here and say, if uh, you love your life and you don't hate yourself, just don't play League. That's why we've gathered the, the strongest SVSU players that uh, don't sleep, they don't breathe. <laughs> they sleep. They... <laughs> they don't bathe. They're just the strongest, the strongest of the bunch to go in there. Sorry. I don't need more enemies. It's like we have. Oh, that's a Senna band. Oh, if we turn this down a little bit. Yes. Uh... I don't want the mic to pick up what we're hearing, so it just echoes. Yes. Go for it. Ooh. I want to turn. Ooh, we're seeing an Annie ban coming from the team that was using it. We got a set of Kha'Zix and a... Rengar. Kha'Zix and Rengar. And then Senna and Annie. Another Scion ban. We're not seeing much different bans, except I don't know why they threw Annie when they were the one using the Annie. Well, maybe they didn't want to, uh... It's, it's like, uh... Like, how dare Ooh, you use my own spells up. against me, Potter. That's they don't in a while. That's normally what Erica would play. Seeing a Renata. So obviously we're going to be seeing a Renata. I see a Udyr on uh, SVSU. Hey, let him have Udyr. Well, they, they didn't want... They, well, the uh, Brighton didn't want him anymore, so they just kind of handed him off. They, they were like, them. you know Annie, but you can have big, large man they're that just, makes colors. They're just renting. They're they're renting him right now. No. They're they're borrowing the Udyr. We're seeing Caitlyn again. And, oh, Hekka. 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 This is interesting. Because I have not seen anyone play a Hekka in a while. Grim is a really fast thing, isn't he? He just dashes through everything. Tyler originally played Hecarim. That I know of. I don't. I, he. I don't think he's touched it in a while. But this is interesting to see a Hecarim coming the up. Misfortune on the enemy team. Still, it did seem like she was doing quite well uh, in late game on the. Uh... I would say the fortune seemed like she was doing pretty well. Although we're obviously seeing that maybe the jungler wasn't comfortable with Udyr. Maybe he was taking the Udyr so Tyler didn't get it the first game. Maybe he wasn't comfortable with That's it. true, that's true. And so now we're seeing, maybe this is more of a comfort choice for him and we're seeing Tyler in Udyr now. And now we're back to SDSU banning. We have Syndra again in mid. And let's see what SDSU's second to last ban is going to be. Ziggs once again. Lux ban. Obviously, they did not like the Lux in the last game. Six is like a little goblin. He's just like me for real. We're not seeing much different bans coming from Messages. We're seeing a soul ban. And right as I say that, the last ban is a different one from the last game. They're seeing a Lux ban and a Morgana ban as well. Ooh. Seems like they really do not like the CC coming out of those two. It does seem like, though, it does open up for uh, Lucas to get the Soraka. It opens up to his main people, so we can see a Soraka, we can see Sona, but it looks like we're going to be seeing the Soraka for so, now. A uh, quick fun fact that I don't think you knew. Uh, did you know that Soraka actually rhymes with Maraca? <laughs> did, <laughs> Stupid. Didn't you know? <laughs> Did you, did you know we're, we're seeing her eyes on the uh, Brighton team right now? Why did you break out Maraca? What? It's Soraka rhymes with Maraca. It's a little known fact. Only, only like, there's not many people in the world that knew that fact until just now. All of the people, all the people that have been that want to use 
left. Here you go. What do you mean useless? You could save <laughs> this. Is Kasanti good? I've been hearing like iffy things on him. I don't know if he's gonna get born. Born. It's an, that's a straight up born moment. Shane, Shane gonna get Orn. Shane's getting Orn. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, Shane's Shane's a pretty cool guy, but when uh, but when he gets Orn, I, I tell you, he turns into an even cooler guy. He uh, he turns he, into a monster. Yeah, he, no, he doesn't turn into a monster. He turns into he he like sunglasses just materialize on his face. He just uh, he he becomes a he becomes a superstar. I'm he, telling you. He becomes a cool guy in the real world, but then you come into League, and you, you like, let's say you're in, you're in Summoner's Rift, this beautiful map. Uh huh. And you're. Am I, watching... am I Grom? What am I? In you're a Grom. And you're, right. just, you're just watching this fight break out in top lane, and it's Orn versus Cassante, and your Shane is Orn. Shane is a monster on Orn. I guess that's true. So you see Shane, he looks cool in real life, but then you, let's say you're in Summer in Rift. Shane is a monster on Ord. He could tear through this Cassante. And he obviously- But will he tear through the Cassante? He picked we'll it see. after the Cassante picked for top as well. So he could be counterpicking this Cassante. Could be. There is still opportunity to be outplayed though. That is true, yes. But Shane has Orn. <laughs> just, just saying. Will we see the uh, the Rise take out the Syndra this time, though? I'm interested in seeing this Renata. I haven't seen a Renata play in God knows how long. I think the last time I saw one was when Erica was playing a lot. So I'm very interested to see how this Renata is going to be. And the screen is. Why are we vibrating so violently, Bunny? Bunny why is this so violent? This is what this is what my heart looks like after I take one energy drink. A sip of it or just one whole drink? Uh, just as soon as a droplet gets on my tongue. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna see the misfortune and Caitlin go at it again, but we're we're seeing I can't really say we're seeing similar cops, because we really aren't. I mean we're still seeing the syndrome, we're still seeing the Caitlin. Except for the Udyr changed sides, he clicked the change team button, and then the, uh... Maybe the Udyr wasn't happy. And he wanted to go somewhere else. But he's still- <laughs> he's still in the top right, though. He's still in jungle. He's but still in jungle, he's in the, still in the he's top the right. He's in the opposing jungle, rather than the jungle he was in. Never mind, he's well, in the same- it, That's what I'm saying, like, the- the end- uh, Brighton was on the top right, he's and then it changed, 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 but now he's still, still on the top right. Jungle. Yep, okay, I see what He's still saying. on familiar territory, just new friends. New friends, different side. <laughs> but same jungle, same awful life. And then this Cassante is also kind of throwing me off. I've not seen Cassante, but the one match I've uh, played against him myself, uh, he was an unkillable unit. Uh, no matter what anybody did to him, they literally did maybe 30 damage at most because of how many uh, defensive items he had. From what I know is Cassante is kind of like what I would consider to be a picky player is... You have to be able to play good on him in order for Cassante to actually be a good champion. Because when he first came out, I heard he, pardon my French, was complete ass. <laughs> he was not very good. He just sucked overall on the board. Especially in top lane. People are trying to throw him in the jungle for some reason. He just wasn't very good. And then for some reason, on one of the patches, he skyrocketed. And then it's just been bouncing back and forth, back and forth. Seems like it's really hard to uh, balance out the characters correctly from a gameplay perspective, as you can't just... Just because a character's doing good doesn't necessarily mean the character is good. That's correct. It could just be people are using the character correctly. It... It's probably one of those... One of the, like, champions... That I feel like you actually have to master in order for him to be good. Yeah, you really gotta skim through matches with like a fine comb to see what is actually that is fair. the problem with a character if it's too good. 
uh, watching professionals play, see if something needs to be tuned back, like an ability cooldown be higher, or passive change. Does the first thing strap it into a deer hide in the bush? Ooh, we got Kasaka hide in the bush too. I need an A bush. Multiple bushes! Orn already backing? Coming back. Now, now, is it a bush or just really tall grass? Yes. It looks like really tall grass. It looks like something from a Pokemon game. Let's see what a bush is. Really tall grass. Oh, the bushes are more leafy though. They they, they got a, a lot more leaf patches on them. Well, we're over here philosophizing. That's not even the word. Minions have spawned. We're simply discussing. We're observing. Sure. <laughs> it's like look, that just looks like really tall grass. Yeah, it, it, they are supposed to reference bushes, though. That, that is true. Kind of, that is, that true. is they what they are. Bushes. They are called bushes, but they are tall grass. But it's also league logic. I'm not gonna question league. <laughs> That's true. We don't want to go too deep in that. Yeah, just yeah. We, we question league and we'll question. It does not look like the Udir is being a right now, though. He's got that handled all by himself. And it does seem like Bottom is already uh, trying to take shots at one another. Is Renata by chance a CC heavy champ? Yeah. Um, Renata is not very CC heavy. Of course, being a support, she does have a CC ability, with one of her abilities being able to hook onto someone, root them, and then toss them any direction she wants. Uh, <laughs> Renata is more of a uh, misfortune. She has the like rain, or, like raining fire ability, wherever whatever it's called, where she makes a little circle that slows down people. That's about all the CC she has. So there's not much CC. The only real CC coming out of Renata is her ultimate, and what's uh, gonna give her the most advantage out of that. If you're wondering if we just weren't seeing the leash, because maybe bot lane just didn't want to lose anything from me. Maybe they were heavier or something. So, but it's also, I know normally when Tyler is playing Udyr, he doesn't, if he's not Udyr, he normally doesn't get a leash as well. But he normally does okay without it. Um, like Ward and the uh, are fighting it out right now. Ward's had a little bit more of an advantage with Elfwide. Getting a lot of the minion gold out of the way. Like a, like a little volcanic pillar there. Got bot lane taking a lot of health out of the enemy team right now. You know what I want to see in this orange skin? I want to see an orange skin that changes this little uh, key rock to make it like a make it like a statue of himself. Like a, he just like, spawns a statue on the floor. I don't know. He, he could be like a Leonardo da Vinci skin, but he's beautiful. <laughs> I would like, honestly, in my opinion, I want to see more skins for Belva. Because Belva only has one skin, and it doesn't look good. And none of the chromas really look good on it either. So. Yeah, but do you really want to support Belva? Yes. On. They, <laughs> they, I do go. They're, Stacks, they're really, uh... big fish. <laughs> They're really a giant stingray that's just tearing through everything, whatever they Stacks of fish. That's what I have to say for Belva. Yeah, Sante doing a little bit of damage to Orn, but Orn rebuttaling with uh, quite a few damage of his uh, own uh, nature. We got, uh... Where is Hekka? I don't see Hekka. We got the Udyr coming up top, maybe gonna gank here. Does look like there's an... There is a ward there, so the Cassante is backing off. The, uh, weird oh, things okay. that there is a war there. The enemy. <laughs> the enemy. With, with friends like... With friends like these, who needs an enemies? And see, it looks like the enemy may have this one. Ooh! I think they are in a pretty good position here. This Called the Dream Team or Bottle. Um, Lucas and Matt, no matter what they're playing, uh, they normally are able to easily like pair together. And they're like such a good pairing for Motley, in my opinion, anyway. And fun fact, I don't know if you knew, 
But Matt actually was not an ADC when he came on to the team. He actually switched over to ADC. Yeah. Well, Matt's been putting in a lot of work then. Yeah, absolutely. Get ADC going on. I want to say he was a mid. We might see Peter coming down for a gank, but with uh, Renata and Misfortune not being pushed up too far in the lane, we might not have it. Where's the heck the rim? I was wondering where he was. He's hiding. Oh, there he is. I couldn't find him on the map. Like, where is this horse? Where is the missing horse? Is he a horse or is he a centaur? Because he's like, he's got centaur like features, yes. but he's also got a horse. That's like a horse. I don't think he's a horse. I don't know if he's calling a horse. Like, he's, he's got like a. Uh, well, a centaur just has horse like features, but he's also like. Which is. Time for Google. It does look like we have an infernal dragon coming up right now. Ooh, that. What stole are we gonna be seeing this game? Um. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're gonna see a cloud race. I'm saying cloud. Blood going to Udyr on Kasante. Um, I'm going to say, I want to see if we see how a Chemtech. I could see Chemtech happening. Chemtech is a definite possibility. I don't know if you want an actual closer look at the Hekka. Yeah, that's like, that's, that's a centaur, right? Like, he's, he's at the... It's the human more no, he's not really human, but like he's got the more human features at the front of the horse body. He's got centaur looks. He's yes. got a centaur look. Looks like a centaur. The shadow of a war. That's not a centaur. <laughs> That's not a horse either. That's apparently what his uh sub like I would like to say his flavor text. We got uh Brighton coming in with the uh infernal dragon so far though. And right and able to kill the Kendra. Ooh, okay. The Junior able to pick up the eyes. So we're going after okay. the Hector in the world. Let's see here. He does have skins. Are any of them a centaur? Oh, come on, that's a centaur. Oh, it's so pretty! <laughs> We got Cassante going over near the uh. That one is a oh, you gotta, you gotta say that's a centaur. Come on. I don't know what League calls him because League doesn't call him a centaur. I don't think he is a spectral fusion of man and beast. Okay, yeah. That's I get a centaur. <laughs> <laughs> He's a horse. That's all I will call him. He's a horse. I guess he is a centaur though. We got Cristante uh, uh, being killed by the Udyr there. The centaur running away, the, uh, running away from the fight there. I might, I might. He doesn't even say centaur. It's just a spectral fusion of man and beast. Ooh, that's a centaur. Curse to ride down the souls of the living for all eternity. Is the shadow of the They're called the simple centaur. We got, we got SPSU taking the Rift Herald, and uh, SPSU also pushing bot lane quite a bit with a minion horde. Taking out as much of uh, the place that we can get off this tower. I can't sit in this chair that much anymore. <laughs> I want to slouch off of it. <laughs> My back can't take it anymore. I don't know if, I, I, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> it's not off the table right now. <laughs> this, this computer falls, there's gonna be problems. No, no mic. No, our mic! Okay, there we go. Right, okay, we, we, we lost the mic for a second. We, we had it. USB is not recognized, oh no. No, it, it recognizes it. My laptop just hits me. Oh, I see. Maybe you shouldn't have called it a paperweight earlier. Or whatever you called it. I called it a sheet of paper. Screw this. 
It is a touch screen sheet of paper. It didn't react for that. There we go. What is the tablet? We got the Hecarim running over to the uh, computer right now. Oh no. The is uh, sending them as much as possible. They're getting away with the uh, hourglass keys. Who's run that hourglass really go to hand in hand? We've seen two really good plays of that hourglass so far. He's not having a good game. Neither is Kante. Ooh! Kante able to get out of that Orn. But, uh, doesn't look like New Year's gonna let that happen. Orn is able to finish the Kante though. Kante is not having a good game. I take that by the side by Hecarim. Hecarim is okay, but Kante is not having a good game. This is the third time that I've seen. We've got the uh, not lane still pushing that tower. Getting quite a bit of gold mix. Yeah, I'm getting raised. Even though uh, I don't know how Matt and Lucas would say, I will say that these are the power couple of bot lane. We've got the uh, Drake, the Drake coming in soon. The Drake. The we've ocean got, Drake. We've got Dwayne the Rock Johnson coming in soon. And, uh... oh it's the Ocean Drake coming up. So this is our second one. We have one more. See, see I could be right. Oh, oh. Either of us could be. You said Chemtech, I said uh. Cloud. Cloud, right? Yes. Yeah. I, I'm gonna actually pick both. I'm not gonna talk. Apparently, English is not my strength. That's fine. I'll, I'll talk for you. Oh, we gotta. Oh, Grom. 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 Don't die, Grom, please. No. I've oh, lost never. my caster, he's crying. I'll never financially recover from you. Financially recover? What do you mean? Yeah, I had my money on Grom. Oh. I bet all of my life savings that Grom would live that. Well, that was your mistake. Why? I had faith in him. It would you thought that Grom was gonna be the jungler? Yeah. A level 8 jungler? Oh, I, I oh, oh, not at using your ult to... Get the uh, team off their balance. Uh, Is that a Taking the dragon here can be a very risky move for SBSU. Rai is coming uh, up to the edge trying to get the shuttle bug, but uh. Here is the dragon. So he's gonna die for the uh, squishier people. Not quite getting away with it though. They're still They're just putting that bug. Slowly They're right bullying now. that scuttle bug so they can get the uh, scuttle bug buff. The vision. It's literally just vision in front of the dragon. No, 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 no. If you walk through it, you get speed too, don't you? Oh. Unless it's the. Uh, unless they patch that out. It used to be. The scuttle crab does vision instead of it. Um, and I learned a little trick that Tyler knows. For like, if the enemy team has scuttle, can't you like uh just teleport into the dragon? Or yeah. Something? So in the dragon pit, if they have vision on in front of the Drake, there's literally a one of the like boom flowers that like you hit it and it explodes and jumps yeah. you in there. That's all it does. Like you can just hit that and it gets you in there. I don't remember what the. the... We got the uh oh the blast one. We got the uh Ekarim. Oh, we were both wrong. Come on. I think I actually just as well. That's the game. Seems like Brighton had a pretty rough start, but they. That is never seem that to come great back for them, though, unfortunately. They are going pretty hard on those objectives right now. Doesn't seem like anyone's used the. Uh, did we see the Rift Herald come out yet? The Herald has not come out yet. I'm pretty sure Udyr still has it. No one on SPSU has it. I imagine it's Udyr, but I don't know where he's gonna put it. It's annoying not being able to like see who has the Rift Herald on this little, uh, this little dash from the Rift on this side. Like, it doesn't show... It shows that it's fire, it goes, and it's room. We got SVSU taking the bottom turret as well. Uh, Udyr and Orn meeting up to get another Rift Herald, it looks like. 
Unless there's no Rift Herald there, I can't really see it right now. Oh, there is a Rift Herald. Alright. So, did they just get the Rift Herald and forget about it then? Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe they had it and then they got stuck into that dragon fight. Uh, the right. pit, the fight near dragon. So maybe he just wasn't able to use it. But it looks like he has claimed the second hero die. It is the Eye of the Rift Herald as well. Um, Herder. Herder? Her. No, the Herald is a girl. Oh, I thought you just... Her. I, I, I thought you were just saying that it was Herder. Like, that's its name. Uh, Here with the sheet. Caitlin, take it out of the Do you think if given the opportunity that the uh, Rift Herald would wear uh, makeup? You think the Baron would? Um. Baron is the face, but. I, I, I feel like the Baron would be like a, like a father that like is playing with their, like their younger, uh, or their younger siblings and like, uh. Father? Yeah. First, the other playing with their child and like uh, playing with some makeup on their face. Like, that's something that we say the Baroness father of Harold. I mean, is that what we could say? They seem pretty similar, like maybe. Harold seems like a bigger version of a scuttlecrab. Well, exactly, but like the Baron is like this big thing. Like, uh, like I, I can see it. it. Does seem like we got a Conte. I'm not mostly here right now. Red team has been destroyed. So what's all? Red team here. What's the blue here? Is time to look at it. Let's look at there's a chance to look at there. He has no mana. There's a tree level there. And blue deer is unstoppable. On a kill streak. Or so the game says. Will we see the Uder be stopped? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Obviously, if it's not unstoppable, they're on a kill streak. That is normally what that means. And normally, if they have a high kill streak, it's a higher bounty. And it says godlike or legendary. Funny, funny words up there. Oh, stop. Yeah, have to take Drake's plotting in a minute 45. Oh, no, spare him! No! He's gone! 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 He's they just inoculated Hecarim. Yeah, he was, bush. he was stunned once and he was not able to run away from that. Oh. He, uh, okay. he wore an ult into the front day. Front day is able to... Uh, so okay. was saved, she was, he was saved by the belt, uh, not the belt, but the, uh, the name, the Granada. He was saved by the Granada W, but he wasn't able to get a kill, he just perished. Die. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Return to the earth, you will born from. I think they realized Orn was in that bush. I think that is a very solid assumption, as well as a. Uh, oh, but they like are pushing. Oh, yeah. They're going too deep into this fight right now. Might want to back off this way there. Is there somebody in the Herald? Where? Putting Herald mid lane, the and they're also looking to use this time probably with the next pet streak right now. Ooh. But that is what is that list? Very smart play. And it does look like they have a couple people out there. Most of them are not a danger. They're not quite the dragon shit. Red team getting their first Drake of the game. Hextech. Are those like volleyballs that are flying around this corner right now? I should just skin that it is, I would imagine so. I wonder if that's her full party skin, if she has one. We got the Baron spawning in right now. No, no! Oh, the Ekerin got the Grom. 
Why does Gromp always get bullied? When is Gromp gonna be a playable character? I, I probably would never reinstall League, but if the Gromp became, became a playable character, I might have changed my mind. I might be a professional Gromp main. Two has not been, like, too jumpy on objectives. Because it seems like the first two drinks that we had from Brighton. But we did have them get the Heralds, and they got their first drink. So it does seem like SKC is starting to catch up on objectives. But it seems like even though they're not doing, or they didn't seem like they were doing too well with objective-wise, it does seem like they are doing very well with the like, team fights and stuff. So they're able to keep themselves higher up uh, compared to for the uh, For the Hextech, not the soul. But the uh, the small buffs that you can get for like having each one of the buffs, right? Those give attack speed and cooldown reduction, right? Oh, oh boy! I, I know that a uh, I know I know the attack the attack speed for sure, but I'm pretty sure it also gives you like three cooldown reduction or stuff. If they get four of those, that could stack up pretty quickly. Four of those, and then you also have soul after that too. I once played a game where there was. Four ocean soul, or four of the ocean buffs on one team, and it was impossible to kill them because that was twelve percent of their health every five seconds. The, 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 the Hex Tech Drake's buff greatly increases the attack output of a team as their cooldowns come up quicker in their attack. Oh, right, so it's cooldown reduction attack. And the uh, we saw the Caitlyn using three traps on that uh on that jungle item right there. Got Syndra and Rise fighting on bot lane right now. And most of the team gathering mid. Misfortune on the middle lane right now, trying to do away the Soraka and Caitlyn. Got Meteor stalking the Rise in the jungle right there. Waiting for a victim to that bush. Getting rid of the blast spell as well. We're going to make the sun fade and I'm cutting it out up top. Oh! Hecarim coming in for a game kill. Will he be able to make the most of it? He does not look to be the case. Or being able to survive all of that is quite a feat. Hexpectable makes like a, uh, whenever they do an attack, it makes like a lightning strike come down that like slow those people who buy and does damage. Hecarim is running away as fast as possible right now. Stacked by Hexpectable, they gain ability, haste, and bonus speed. Looks like Hecarim is still running away. Not us being able to put up a fight here, but not being able to get away from the uh, Uyghur. He Hecarim is able to run away though. With those four legs, he's able to run quite fast around the map. Use four hosts. All right. Yeah, we're gonna go on the we're gonna go on the centaur <laughs> argument again, aren't we? You started this up again. Okay, he does have four legs. He, he, he is quadrupedal. That's true. He is quadrupedal and he does have hooves, but he's still a centaur. You're not changing my mind on that one. I'm just gonna say what the league site says. He is a spectral fusion of man and beast. A centaur. It doesn't specify if the beast is a horse, though. But it looks like a horse. Come on, tell me that isn't a horse. We got the uh, hex or, like, we got the hex tech dragon somewhere uh, in the middle here. Okay, what? Well, it's not the beast they can help but it's too drunk. Right on it, taking it hardly down to half health. Oh. Will the uh the, the, the deal does not look like it's that that can be the case. That's a second drink for SPSU. More at XP and food on reduction, you're really gonna be it's gonna add up pretty quickly here. Oh, 
right here. That, that, those are the stats. Yeah, so they gain, right now, with them having two hex attacks, they gain 18 ability haste. I don't know if that, oh yeah, it is percent. 18% ability haste and 18% bonus attack speed with those I two. Thought it, I thought it used to be like six or something, so it was Oh, like, they changed whoa. it. Oh, they wow. changed it. Dragon Soul, with Hextech Soul, dealing damage to an enemy with basic attack, causing them to be careful with electricity. Facing on level, dealing 25 to 50 bonus damage, and slowing them down. Alright, so that's the same. Yes. It's just the, uh, buff thing. Greatly, uh, chain. Slowing them by the chain over two steps will change the effect of the enemy. Or using an ult to not up their body. Born all the ram. The ram. He is a ram. Or, he, well, he is a man, he, but he has the power of the ram. Well, he's, he's not a man, isn't he a god? He's the forge god, so he's like a ram. Isn't, uh, isn't he related, uh, for Udyr lore? For Udyr lore, isn't he like, uh, isn't he one of the, like, four animals that Udyr can use? He can use, like, the, uh, the ram of uh horn, he can use the, the volley bear claws and then the uh wings of uh perfect and he is the spirit walker. Udir is the spirit walker and the horn is a demigod. So what I would imagine is it's special Uh I know that Horn and Volley Bear are brothers, if I'm correct about that. And like, and the like, Phoenix thing excuse me. <laughs> The, the phoenix thing is their sister, right? Yeah, yeah, the bird. Yeah. Oh, we got Caitlyn being able to pick up in this position with all that rain. Move your rusty down with this contact. We can take it out really quick. Excellent. Running away. Running away right with the team. Or stop away, whatever you gallop away, whatever you want to use. Gallop away. Send car. I have. Good game. Baron has been slain. It's not the end of it yet. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's just a sense of sportsmanship for a good team fight. Maybe. We do see them pushing down mid though. And with Baron buff, that's gonna be really hard to counter against. Especially with the uh four and uh Hey, the funny number four to twenty for the kill. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that night. Normally, that's something that you see. You don't know if you see things like messages from the game. We are seeing, though, it does look like uh, there's another turret destroyed. Warren is just standing there menacingly. Grr. <laughs> you might just be staying there to uh, buff the minions so they can uh, do their own work. That's the sound that Volley Bear makes, not the sound that uh, a ram makes. What, what does a ram sound like? Well, I would imagine a ram, aren't they like close to They're, the... they're like close to goats. That's it, they're like goats. goats with horns. Yeah. Well, they, do they like scream? Because like goats don't bother, like yell. Some goats do scream. Um, I wouldn't imagine that they scream. Well, it looks like we might be seeing us get stupid, but they're attached to death. Okay, Orange able to upgrade from the like this with like a yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The entire team is just aimed together right now. Because I don't think that they're particularly great about like if one of them comes up. Yeah, uh, I'm 
to be honest, I would probably put it the opposite direction, back to my spawn point. If I saw all five of them in there, with the red kit, nope, I'm back, I'm out. You were, it seems like you were right about, uh, Gordon being an absolute monster right now. So he's, uh, tearing it up with, with three of those, uh, x tech traits, but he's pretty cool down production for, uh, SPSU. Let's see what it is right now. Uh, we're getting 27% ability haste and 27% uh, bonus attack. So those are the nice. Yeah, uh, taking out the Renata. Hunter is doing as much as he possibly can, but not being able to tear through all of the So then, I think, uh, trying to get a kill here, but there's way too much healing for Renata to. There's too much effort from the cave. Yeah. Team's unable to, like, keep themselves from dying. They look pretty alive right now. How much damage they're able to do, as well as Leborn being able to smoke up most of it, as well as the Baraka being able to heal it. Disconnected already. The hacker I'm disconnected. And that is a second win for SPSU, rounding out that best of three. Two to zero win, and it looks like SPSU is now three to one. And wow, we're just look at all that damage. The one doing the most damage was Syndra, though. Syndra has been putting out quite a bit of damage, and with um, Magi's, it looked like she uh, ran. That's even more of a snowball for the uh, end of the game. It does look like that is uh, the end of our stream, though. So thank you guys so much for joining in on this uh, lovely Friday evening. Come back next Friday. Day Come more. next Friday.